What is going on guys? Welcome back to another night here in the snake room. Now something I do get asked a lot is what happens if a venomous snake bites another venomous snake? Well, yesterday I came in the snake room and noticed that there was some blood all over my particular snake's cage here. So I did some investigating and saw that one of my snakes has a lot of blood all over his head. So today we're finally going to talk about this. Okay, so in this cage here is my Athera squamagera, which are a bush viper from Africa. I have four of them. For those of you guys that don't know, I have my male, who is a green one. I have a yellow one that's also a male. I have a purple one that is also a male. And then I have my big, beautiful red female. Now, right now, my female is gravid. She uh, was locked up with the yellow male for quite some time, a couple months ago. But when the snakes get gravid, they get very cranky, just like any animal that does get pregnant. And when I came in here the other day, I noticed there was blood on the cage, and also the male, my green male's head, was covered in blood. Now, can you, you, gotta, you gotta turn that way for me, no? Okay, you're just focused on me. Let's see. So if you can see the side of his face there, there's some blood on it. His lip is a little swollen and um, right above his eye is also a little swollen. Um, now, I'm assuming at some point the female got upset or something and decided to latch onto his head. Um, you're okay, buddy. Um, which of course caused him to bleed. Now, venomous snakes, Yes, they have venom when they do bite. As long as it's the same, relatively the same species of snake, the venom isn't gonna hurt them if it's a little amount. If it was two different species of snakes, say a king cobra and a monocle cobra, if that king cobra was to bite the monocle cobra, the venom would have more of effect of a monocle cobra biting a monocled cobra. They have a somewhat, not, I don't wanna say immunity to it, but they have a tolerance of it. Too much of the venom will kill them, but you also have to think of the fact that their fangs are little needles, and that's poking through their scales and their skin and going into them, which could cause them internal damage as well. So thank God he is okay, because um, my sister did produce this snake. He's been with me since he was a little baby, so I'm happy he's okay. His head will heal over time. The swelling will go down. It's already gone down since what it was yesterday. So I'm gonna go ahead and put him down over here. We'll be right back, because then I gotta pull out the big female. All right guys, so now we have to get the female out. She's kinda all wrapped up in the wood. Um, I have to try and be careful with this because she is pregnant. Or gravid, as we like to say, with snakes. There she is. So she's got this big scar on her back. Um, don't know what it was from. She was wild caught. She was given to me by the same person that gave me the albino monocle cobras. Whoa, you're not in a good mood. I don't blame you. Um, so yeah, she's got a bunch of babies in her, hopefully, ideally, I'm pretty sure she does. Um, so these guys are vivivorous, meaning they give live birth. I'm gonna go ahead and put her over here in this container. So she is separated. I don't have to worry about her biting any of the other snakes. Now, the container I'm putting her in uh, does have holes in it, but it's okay. The holes are big enough for the babies to get out, but I'm gonna be putting her in another cage down at the bottom here, so that just in case she does give birth while she's in here, the babies will still stay in that cage. They can't get out of that cage because there's no holes in it. Um, now the male, he will be okay. Uh, the fact that he's still alive and didn't die right away um, is a good sign. So that means she didn't get too much venom in him. All right, so here is the green male back again. Um, I do want to give a big shout out to Colson, who is a super fan of mine. Uh, his dad actually had asked me to give him a shout out during the live stream. 
So there you go, buddy. Thank you for enjoying my YouTube channel. Um, I do appreciate it. Um, but back to this guy who looks like he wants to mess me up right now. Um, now these guys have a hemotoxic venom, so if they do or were to bite a human, uh, it would relatively suck for our blood. Um, just destroying it in so many different ways. There's no actual anti-venom for the genus that these guys are, which is a Theris. Um, if somebody were to get bit by these snakes, they would actually give them, you gonna crawl back in there? They would give them Echis anti-venom, which is another genus of snake, uh, like the soft-scaled vipers. They would use that to help combat the side effects of these snakes. So that blood is uh, pretty much dried up on his head at this point. Um, no amount of spraying him down is going to get that blood off of him. But when he does go to shed next time, it will come off with his new shed. Uh, if I'm able to catch it, I will show you guys so you guys can see that. But his swelling has gone down since yesterday, so that's a very good sign. Again, not really too worried about him. So I'm going to try feeding him here in a couple days, make sure he eats, make sure he's drinking when I do give them water, all that fun stuff. So we're going to go ahead and close him up. So I also wanted to share with you guys that the flat nose bamboo pit viper or flat nose pit viper or whatever it is you want to call it is out of quarantine and also in the snake room. This snake is doing phenomenal for me. It is eating no problem. It was captive born uh, from parents or from a mom that was wild caught. Uh, this is, for those of you guys that don't remember, the snake that summer has got, that got me for Christmas actually. Um, it was kind of a shocking surprise, but it is doing fantastic. As you can see, it's got that very beautiful brown with red spots all over its body. This thing is eating rat pinchies for me, no problem. So I'm really happy that he is out of quarantine, doing awesome. Um, again, these snakes come from Asia. <laughs> Coral's watching. Um, and usually get about 25 to 26 inches long. So this guy's about halfway grown, still has a lot to do. So we're gonna go ahead and put him back in the cage. Boom, just like that. So we do have to feed these guys here shortly. So maybe I'll do a little bit of a feeding with him as well so you guys can watch him eat because I'm sure that's something most of you guys haven't seen yet already. What, what? Look at her, look at, look at, look how cute she is. All right, so big old nasty female, she's in there even though she's not really nasty, she's just defensive. Um, Again, she'll be living in this for a little while at least until those babies do pop out of them. Baby squams are literally the cutest little bug-eyed things you've ever seen. But once they are born, they will be going to my sister's house like all my baby stuff. Um, but I haven't checked in a while. Let's go over and check on the monocle cobra. Let's see if she by chance laid her eggs yet. I'm not sure if she did or didn't. So we're going to go check that out. So here's a prime example why I don't keep cobras in these cages. All they'd like to do is rub and push. You can see all the dirt all over the sidewalls, the glass, everything like that. And all she's doing is constantly trying to rub her face and push it out. That's why I've actually had the newspaper over the cage so that she can't see out and constantly try and get out. It's a lot better for her. But I'm gonna go ahead and try and flip this up to see if there's eggs in here yet. Nope, no eggs yet. All right, you're okay. You're all right. No, no eggs yet, but when the eggs do come out, I will film it for you guys. I will also be filming the baby squams when they come out too. So I want to give a big thank you to my Patreons. You guys are awesome. We had a live stream tonight. It was a lot of fun, like always. If you guys would like to become a Patreon, definitely check out the link below. Um, lots of updates on animals more often, private videos, live streams more often. Please don't mess up your face. I don't have way too much to do that. Alright, I'm going to cover this up. Just so she doesn't mess up her face. Perfect. So, big thank you to all you guys. You guys are awesome. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're not already. And, and, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!